I think the one thing I want to make sure that everybody understands is why snaps are important. Um, they let you speed up your productivity, especially with the keyboard snaps. Um, but the bottom line is they allow you to be accurate with your um, drawings without having to be accurate with your mouse. In other words, if I have no snaps on here, which allows me to snap to any place on the screen, and I say, okay, I want to snap right to the end point of this uh, vertical line, and I come in and I say, okay, well, let me draw a line from there to there. If I don't have my snaps on and I zoom in real close, we'll see because of the no snaps being on that my line is inaccurate. It's probably displaced or could be crossing over or whatnot. Right. Okay, so what I also want to know is show you about when you're selecting a line. A lot, a lot of times I get customers coming to me and saying, how do I delete a line? And uh, where's the clear command or where's the delete command? You've got to go to your selection tool and you've got to select the line so that it's highlighted like this and then you press delete on the keyboard. Okay, the other place is to select the line and then say edit and choose clear and you just chose selection and you can see the keyboard shortcut there is delete okay so that deletes the line so to make sure that our users understand why snaps are important we're going to try and draw a line with the no snaps over here on so we'll go to the line tool we'll click it and we just simply move it onto the line here and I'll get it as, as close as I can get it onto that line and move it over onto this line here and I'll click there and now when we're looking at it in this view we can see that it looks pretty close onto that and now we've completed it but in a CAD system that is fallacy because now I'm going to zoom in on this area I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose this thing called zoom window so then I'm going to click once over there and click there and you can see how even though in the previous view we thought it was touching when we zoom in, we can see the inaccuracy. And when we select this line, okay, we're going to see that its finishing point is this. And when we select this line, it's uh, slightly off. X64 versus 6.2, you see? Okay, so that's the slightly difference. But when we're in the full view, I'm going to right click again and choose zoom extent. When we're in this view, it looks okay. Now actually zooming down to here as well, in this case I'm going to actually roll my wheel mouse forward. Okay, I'm going to move my cursor onto the point that I'm interested in and I'm going to roll my wheel mouse forward. And you can see if I keep on rolling it zooms it in, roll out it zooms out. So that's the way I usually uh, zoom in and out. And I can also click and drag the... Um, Oops, I don't, don't want to do that right now. Anyway, let me roll in there, and we can see that that's not matching. Okay. Um, Rob, why don't you do what you just did again, because, again, I'm sure our users are going to run into that one. Talk about the clicking and holding down the mouse button as you move. Uh, okay. There's a, the, these wheel mouses of uh, wheel mice, excuse me, are a very important tool with TurboCAD because what you can do is you can program it uh, via the tools customize thing here. and go to the, the different, and you can see when you're rolling forward it's zoom in by cursor, backward is zoom out, and then the click is, uh, when you actually click the mouse, it zooms to extents. There's a whole bunch of further options available that if you click and hold and drag it, then you're switching into 3D, and that's why I kind of avoided that right off the bat, but you're quite right, Dave, I should talk about it, because a lot of our users keep on phoning us up and saying, my drawing skew, what did I do, you know? Mm -hmm. And all we've got to say is go to the top view, uh, and then it comes back again. Go to the view menu and go to camera over here, and you can see top. And you might want to learn the keyboard shortcut as you can. So that's a, that is quite right to question we get often on the support line. Mm -hmm. But here is the issue, is that I tried to draw this without snap modes and I didn't succeed. I was inaccurate, even though it looked good in this view. So how am I going to do that accurately? How am I going to draw the line from the end of that line to the end of this line? The way I do it, my method of choice, as I've already discussed, is to use the keyboard shortcuts. So I move on to the line, I press V, and I move on to this line and I press V. 
that to me is absolutely the most simple way of doing it. And then you can zoom in here as much as you like. You see, I, I can't even zoom in anymore. Look how much I've zoomed in from the rulers here. And you can see I'm within, within a thousandth of an inch here. And that's completely accurate.